this upcoming weekend, UFC on ESPN Plus, part-time Paige Van Zandt versus your girl, yeah. Rachel Ostevich. And you know I threw that part-time yeah. in because we very, very rarely see her inside that octagon. That's true. I thought she was on Dancing with the Stars last time I checked. Yeah. Out. Apparently she's going to be back in the octagon. Well, so. news, ha news just broke that she lost her Reebok sponsorship. Did she? So now she needs some money. Yeah, yeah. they, they, they refused to sign her. Okay. I guess to that individual contract. Mm -hmm. She's still going to get paid when she wears her Reebok yeah, kit yeah. in the octagon. I but guess you got to be full-time to get the full-time pay from Reebok. So. You, you know what? you got to stay relevant. Yeah. So welcome back to the UFC page. <laughs> we got a real fight here because... We were both talking off camera, and this is maybe for their UFC life that yep. they're fighting for. Yeah. Paige, no if problem. she loses, that's four of five that she's lost. That's crazy. And and same with someone's story with uh, Burdon Ostevich or uh, Rachel Burdon or Ostevich in that if she loses, that's three of four that she's lost. So yeah, I know I know with Paige Van Zandt especially, you know, we talk about this all the time. But when she first came into the UFC, training with Team Alpha Male, yes. this was a fighter that looked like. You know what? It's only a matter of time before I get that title shot. She was hungry. Right. She didn't have all the skills in the world, but right. what she had was a fighter's mentality where once she got in the octagon, yep. she was coming in there to win and yep. she could take a lot of hits and basically keep her resolve and keep coming forward. Right. We don't see that as much now and maybe rightfully so, right? With, with Paige Van Zandt, she's become more of a star now, more of yes. a personality. And so yes. when you have those opportunities that come with being that, yep. maybe you take advantage of those and you don't focus on the fighting as much. Yep. But still, she's going to have to basically bring her A-game if she doesn't want to get cut from the UFC, like you said. Yeah, exactly. It's now a three-round fight. Before they were the main event, which mm -hmm. was five rounds, which I did think favored Paige yep. because she had that mental toughness. But in a three-round fight, your technical skills need to shine through mm -hmm. early on. And that's where I'm worried about her. And you're right. When she first came... And, and this happens with a lot of UFC fighters, that they really just want to fight. Mm -hmm. But now they go to a training camp. Now they get all the technical skills. And now they're in a competition, which is very different. Mm -hmm. And she's not performing well in these competitions. She yeah. needs to go back to fighting fights. Because her last fight against Jessica Rhodes Clark, I mean, that was, that was a fight that was tailor-made for her to come in and win. Mm -hmm. And she did not perform she and show up. No, so she couldn't do it. I'm actually excited about this fight stylistically yeah. because I think both fighters do have that potential. Mm -hmm. But show me something. And and that's a fair thing to say at this point, right? Even with Berdan Ostevich, who's yeah. a fighter I have a huge crush on. Yes. Mean, let's, just make, <laughs> yeah. let's just make no bones about it. But <laughs> this is another fighter as well where she's 4-4 four four right now in the UFC. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or she's in, had, in her MMA career. In her MMA well. career. Thank yeah. you for correcting me. So she's at a point now where like, if you want to take that step and, so, and, and show the fans that basically you're a real fighter, yeah. you've got to start putting some wins together. Yeah. This will easily be the biggest name that she's fought. Yeah. She can look impressive against Paige. Now she starts to look like a real contender in that straw weight weight division, and she can maybe do something with that for herself. Yeah, and, and yeah. we need that. But side note, I'm so sick and tired of fighters in mm -hmm. the UFC promotion that have a sub-500 record. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see yeah. anybody in the yeah. UFC with that. I know I know that uh, Artem Lobov maybe mm -hmm. had that at one point. Mark Hunt potentially had yeah. that at one point. So if Berdan has that after Saturday yeah. night, I'm sorry, you got to be cut. She's not getting cut. You gotta be cut. Gonna be cut. <laughs> you, you do not cut, Ostevich. Just give her the title then, yeah. right? Give her the title, <laughs> win or loss.